Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on integrating the Django model info library which is a very helpful library that provides us with a set of additional Django management commands that we can utilize and this is going to help us to better understand and visualize our Django project models. Now if I were to scroll down here we can see the use case for where these commands will come into place in a very handy way. So we can see it's very helpful for documentation. It is also very helpful to get various bits of documentation in terms of the output that's provided. As you can see, the rest of the advantages highlighted on this page. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I will be sure to attach all of the important links in the description below, such as the documentation, which I will just um, take a glance at and also just the library package installation page as well. Right now, before we get started, what you're going to want to do is ensure that you have a Django project that you want to apply this to. As you can see, I have one set up and ready to go. And also what you need to make sure is that you have a Django app set up and that you have a model in place here, at least one model. So you can see I have a, mo a customer model here. Um, in my Django app called web app. Okay, so make sure that you have that, that's like the minimum. So a Django project, your Django app with a simple model in that designated apps models.py file. So you need to make sure you have that in place. All right, so once you've got that set up, we can install this library, Django model info, and we can just stop our server. And you just wanna say pip install Django model info. All right, so let's just give this, a moment to install so it has a lot of sub packages attached with it as well so we're just going to want to be a little bit patient as everything gets installed so let's just give it a moment or so all right so welcome back so as you can see everything was installed successfully so we're good to go let's clear our terminal and as we can scroll down here we can see that we have installed the package now we need to add this library to our list of installed apps here and we can go ahead and copy the following and then you want to head on over to your project settings.py file. And here under installed apps, you can go ahead and add this at the bottom. There we go. The position isn't very sensitive. So just go on ahead and add that in. That's now going to give us access to said library more effectively. All right, perfect. So make sure you've added that in. And we're good to go. Right now, you're going to have access to the following commands here. So model info, which is going to display detailed information about our models. Um, model graph here, that will generate a graph of your models and their relationships. Model filter, so this is going to give us the opportunity to filter queries for any Django model where we have complex relationships apart. And also migration graph, that's to visualize and understand the dependencies between migrations. All right. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all of these. I'm just going to go through a general overview with you so that you can get familiar with it because there is a lot to explore in the documentation here. So we can see we have the getting started section, which we've already gone ahead and set up. Now, the last thing that we need to do is to verify the installation. So you just want to run the following command here. I'll zoom in to make it clearer. So python manage.py help model info. So you can go ahead and paste that command in. And that's just like a final verification check just to see that everything has been set up properly. Now, all you need to really see is some information here pertaining to model info. So you just wanna have some valid output that's being output here in your terminal. That's really what you want to get out of the whole thing. All right, so that's just a last test, but we can see that everything was set up correctly. Now we can see that we have the four um, commands that are available here and each has their own details in terms of the flags, etc., and all of their usage. But let's go ahead and keep this rather simple. So we're going to want to utilize model info. So this is the model info command that we're going to want to utilize. And to invoke this command, you will just say python manage.py model info. And that's going to display all the information about our Django models in our project. Now, of course, you need to be very specific about the order in which you set this. So let's go ahead and have a look for clarity. So you can either say Python managed to apply model info and here sales is pertaining to the Django app name and then dot. And then after that is the Django model name. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and test this process out to retrieve the output of all of the information. Okay, so let's have a look here. So in my case, if I go to web app and I go to models, oh, and I go to models.py, you can see I have one model here called customer and all of the associated fields that I have been set. Now let's say I want to get all the information here for this model and all of the models behind the scenes that pertain to my web app. app. So i would head on over to my command prompt and I would just say python manage.py and then we'll say model info. And then what you want to do after that is you just want to add in the app and then the particular model just to be a bit more specific. So in my case, I'm going to refer to web app and then I want to say dot, and then I'm going to refer to the particular model itself, where in this case it's called customer. So the class name, so I'll say customer. And I press enter. And that's going to provide all of the information here. And it's of course going to show the total number of models listed. Now, of course, if you have a lot more models, okay, you would just want to go on ahead and just type in the app itself without putting in the model itself. Then it's going to show you, of course, it would be expected to show all of the models that you have. But as you can see, if we were to scroll out here, we can see a list of information in terms of common Django methods that have been used, uh, the Dunder methods, any other methods that are utilized. And the most important part, we can see a nice structured view here of the fields that we've used. So you can see all of these are the custom ones that I set up the verbase name, the database type, the database column, the field type. So very helpful information that you can use in terms of documentation, especially when you want to quickly understand a project, a Django project with the models. So you can actually see all of that information. So we can see this formats being output here and we can also see a more structured table here in terms of the final model info summary here. So we can see, okay, quickly, these are all the fields that are going to be utilized. So that's how you can track all of the model information of a said Django model in this place. Now, this is of course viewing it in the terminal. Now you can output this in a HTML format or you can output put this in a markdown as well. So I'm going to show you how you can do that as well. So that's the general approach and how you can go ahead and set this up. Okay, so let's head on back here. So there are a few example outputs here given to us. So the HTML output will be demarked by the following code here as an example, and the markdown output will be designated by the following code here. Now you can read all about this in greater detail in the documentation. As I said, there's a lot to it to read into, and you could say debug as you go through everything, but I'm gonna show you the simple way. Now let's say you want to output in a HTML format that will generate a HTML file for you with everything I just showed you in the terminal in a HTML format. Now, the simplest way to go ahead and do that is as follows. So I'll show you how to do that. You would say Python manage.py and then you're going to refer to model info. That is of course the library. And I'm just gonna make this window a bit larger here. Then you want to refer to said model. So in web app, so the same as before, we would say uh, web app dot customer. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna add in a flag here. You're gonna say dash O space. And then you wanna specify the output that you want it in. So in this case here, you would give a name to your HTML file and then say dot HTML. So dash O means output. So we want to output into a HTML file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a unique name. I'm going to say here, um, let's say uh, customer-db-info.html. Okay, and I'm gonna press enter. Okay, there we go. So it generates it for you in the terminal. And then if you head on over, to your base directory here, you can see you have a HTML output here of all of that database information that you saw. So customer-db-info. And you can see that information right here. And of course you can see we've got it all in this nice table here, outputting everything in the correct structure here in terms of all of the fields and the data types, etc., all in place for us here accordingly in this format.
Right, so that's how you can output this information in a HTML format. Now, let's say that you want to put it in a cleaner format. And in that case, I would recommend setting it as a markdown. So it's going to be the exact same sort of process, but you'll just add .md at the end. So here for markdown output, you would add in the same sort of logic. You'll say dash O because you want to output said uh, model information. You'll add in the name of your file and say .md at the end. And that will give it in a markdown output instead of a HTML output. So let's go ahead and do the process again. So let's close that. All right, so now I'm just going to reiterate. So if I say manage to apply it, model info, specifically the model that you want to use and dash O because you want to output the data. And then the name here, I'm just going to call this um, customer dash DB dash info dash two dash MD. And that's going to generate as a markdown. Okay, so it's gonna screen read from the terminal. And here we can see we have a .md file and that's gonna put it in a markdown format. So now of course it's going to take the information from where that was gathered. And here we can see the fields in a different sort of viewpoint here. So you'll see it side by side, you'll see the fields that you created or the attributes, and then you'll see the data types and the character types, etc., in a different kind of format available to you. All right, so in this case here, you can easily see what fields are part of said model. So if you were working in a new project and you don't know what's going on and you want to quickly see the models, etc., you can just quickly have a look here at this file, which you can print, of course, and you can see, okay, here are all the fields used for this particular model web app dot customer. All right, so that's how you can do that. Now let's go ahead and take it a step further. Okay, let's say we want to see it graphically. So we want to analyze it graphically, but we want to see it, gra but with the graphical approach, it's not going to be fancy with actual graphs on a particular page. You're going to see it graphically in a sort of analysis format in your terminal. So if you're on VS, in a VS Code terminal or wherever you're coding, you'll see it in a graphical point. And here's an example of the output that you will see. So for example, you'll see the basic statistics here in terms of the app was how many models there are, the relationships, isolated models, the model relationships, if there are any in terms of foreign keys, um, many to one relations, etc. That's what you're going to see. Now I'm going to show you how you can do this. And that's going to be very simple to add that into place. So let's have a look at our documentation and you can go to usage guide for model graph. And here we can see we've got the general structure here. So you would say pythmanage.py model graph. Okay, and then you would add in the same sort of pattern logic that you had before. So you can add in, for example, the Django app and then dot for the particular model itself. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's clear this up and we can say pythmanage.py. And just to double check, we have model graph this time. So I'm going to say model graph. And then you can just add in a space and then refer to the app where your model is, so web app dot customer. Okay, and that's going to give us a bit of a brief model graph analysis here. So we can see the statistics. So it's based on the one model itself. I have no relationships in this one. I can see the isolated model. So it doesn't have any um, linked or uh, connected relationships to any other models and it doesn't have relationships. So it does give us a very basic overview. If you have lots of models, especially complex ones, this can be a lot more useful if you have a lot of constraints and variables pertaining to models being linked together. And it's very helpful if you have a very complex project and you just quickly want to see how everything is connected together and the lot, you can go ahead and analyze it accordingly. All right, so that's that. Now, of course, there are two other commands that are around there. So you can see we have model filters and migration graph. Okay, so there's a lot more to this. Okay, I just want to give you a bit of an overview to this so you can kind of get the gist and, you know, um, just explore yourself and take a look at the documentation because there's a lot of settings here. So it explains all the details here in terms of the extra settings you can also add to customize the output format, for example and to change a few things here, as you can see. Now, of course, you can also utilize different options such as Mermaid.js to get the outputs. And you can see, you can really 
utilize dot files and the like. So there's a lot that you can integrate and a lot more detail you can look into. All right. But that's it for this um, video tutorial, guys. I just wanted to give you a bit of an overview so that you can familiarize yourselves, you could say, with this new library. It's quite useful, very helpful. I would say the best use case, in my opinion, would be with a documentation standpoint for those that want to just have a good understanding of what models and what fields are set for said Django projects. All right, guys. So that's it for this video tutorial. As always, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.